Today's video is about leopard tortoises and Ethiopia, but a little background. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, hot and dry, live next to South Mountain, home of the carrot-tailed chuckawallas. I've written a number of articles and books, hopefully you've seen a few of them, mainly into iguanas and tortoises. And I like to travel to places where a lot of these things live, so watch for future adventures of the places I've gone. These are some of the iguanas that I've bred and hatched and some of the places I've been. But I'm probably best known for Galapagos tortoises. But I also work with a number of other tortoise species. But today we're talking leopard tortoises. Uh, typically females are bigger than males. Male on the left. Um, they lay quite a number of eggs, fairly prolific, and that's fortunate because leopard tortoises haven't been imported since about 2000 due to the tick. Here you see they start digging in the daylight and it's often dark by the time they're done. Here's a couple juveniles. This is an adult male leopard tortoise measuring in at nine and a half inches. At the time our book came out, Two species, subspecies of leopard tortoises were recognized, Pardalis babcocki and Pardalis pardalis from South Africa. The Pardalis pardalis were identified by these two dots in the middle of the scoot on the hatchlings. This is a babcocki, but many people wanted the larger South African specimens, such as this carjack, who was once the record length tortoise at 24 inches. Now you'll notice from these pictures of South Africa, not all South African leopard tortoises grow that large and not all hatchlings have the two dots. There's much variation in both the Babcock eye and the Pardalis pardalis. Pictures started showing up of giant leopard tortoises larger than the record of Carjack at the 24 inches. And the question was, are they real? In 2010, it was determined that subspecies should not be recognized within leopard tortoises. But the question still remained, what about these giants from Ethiopia and Somalia? Did they exist? So off to Ethiopia I went. My niece and her family were living in Ethiopia, a population of about 50 million people and twice the size of Texas. And fortunately, at the school where their kids went, we found a number of leopard tortoises on the first day we arrived. And much to our delight, these tortoises measured in at 24 plus inches, so larger than carjack. A male shown here, female shown here. It was also interesting to note that in these large specimens, the males were larger than the females. But we wanted to see them in the wild, so off we headed always an adventure wherever you go and you never knew if you were going to make it or not. We found this wildlife sanctuary where they did have giant leopard tortoises. Unfortunately, we didn't find any in the wild. But we did see people such as this basically floating on a giant surfboard waiting for a Nile crocodile to consume them. At least that's what it appeared because the Nile crocs were out swimming where they were at. And if a Nile croc didn't get them, there were always hippos to deal with. And the guy told us that the snake we found in our room was a cobra, but that it was too small to cause any damage. I'm not sure if I believe him. After a couple days here, it was time to go to our next location to see if we'd have better luck. The highlands were green and lush. We got to interact with some of the local people. The school kids were all fascinated by us and wanted to get their pictures here with my niece or with any of us. We found some interesting places, found some different frogs, and of course along our travels we passed a number of different agamas, the beautiful blue agamas, the blue with red head. Uh, this is actually a female of this blue agama, but just a spectacular lizard. But again, like some of the other destinations, even though there's some interesting wildlife and birds, no tortoises. We traveled in a variety of different things. And across the road, you see a lot of interesting sights. 
Unfortunately, I don't even recall all the different locations we went. But one thing that couldn't be forgotten is when Richard and Lark demonstrated the dance that many of the local kids would do at the side of the road. Enjoy. I thought you were going to dance first. No, we got to dance first. <laughs> Though their grandchildren enjoyed the dance, it didn't bring out any tortoises. Now we head to Awash Falls National Park. The falls were beautiful, fun to play on. Of course, you had to watch out for the occasional Nile crocodile, baboons, and warthogs. But we also saw a number of tortoises. The sign showed tortoises. And these, unfortunately, were the tortoises we were finding, large shells. This shell that Richard's granddaughter is showing is actually about the size of my nine and a half inch male, showing the difference how large these specimens are to the ones we have. We also saw the hyenas come out at night. And then we traveled to a hot springs. Uh, saw everything from quicksand and then the hot springs. We passed kids, well, carrying a goat with their bow and arrow, native people hauling water, along with all the baboons running around. This is me with Richard's grandkids. I was fascinated by these palms, swam in the water, and enjoyed that. And I don't think I mentioned that we did have a couple armed guards with us. The next morning we spent a couple hours looking for tortoises before the drive back to Addis Ababa. In this era I was startled by a cobra that quickly ran off into the scrub. As we drove back I looked off in a distance and what did I see? It was a leopard tortoise. And we were thrilled. Of course Richard and I got our picture with it as well as all the grandkids. We were thrilled to find this tortoise and thought, well, if there's one, maybe there are more in this area. We soon discovered this large male along with a female under this bush. This pair proved to be giants. The male measured at a whopping 28, 29 inches, much larger than the once record carjack found in South Africa. This photo provides a scale in comparison with my male at home to this male from Ethiopia. Very impressive. It was an exciting experience to see these tortoises in the wild and in person, but now it was time to head back to Addis Ababa and enjoyed the drive thinking about everything that we had seen and experienced. But we had one more chance to see giant leopard tortoises at the Lion Zoo. Unfortunately, their enclosure wasn't the greatest, and while they were large, it was sad to see them in such poor conditions. Our trip to Ethiopia had finally come to an end, but we were successful in our major goal of finding the giant leopard tortoise. And just remember, whether your tortoise has zero spots, one spot, or even two spots, they're all the same species, and there are no subspecies. And while some populations, males grow larger than females, others, the females grow larger than males, and the size vary greatly. And these giants, they truly are real. And these are actually some hatchlings from the giant Somalian leopard tortoise, and you'll notice the three dots, and it made me wonder, you know, we used to call the Babcock guy with zero or one dots and Pardalis with two dots. Or maybe the giants from Ethiopia and Somalia have three dots. Just something to ponder. Enjoy a few pictures of my leopard tortoises back home.
I hope you enjoyed the video and the trip to Ethiopia.